Hello and welcome. I am Second Voltage, and today I thought I would do something a little different. Um, you see, as I was cleaning out my room uh, about a week ago, I happened across a uh, little treasure trove of sorts that I uh, had forgotten about. Um, I, had f I found it before, and uh, when I when I first moved back in here, and it's a uh, it's a nice collection of all of my artwork from uh, when I was a kid. All the little doodles, all the little uh, drawings I used to do. So I thought it would be fun to have a look at those and uh, redo some of them and uh, see how much my art has improved since then and then probably be um, horribly disappointed in myself when I realise it's exactly the same. No, I'm, 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 I am significantly better now. Um, maybe not as good as I would like to be, but definitely better than this pile of abominations. Now, now that said, I, I haven't found them this time. I found like half of the stuff that I remember finding before. And in the other half, I mean, there's a couple, there's a couple things in this pile, but in the other half of the stuff that I remember, there was actually some things with, whilst not drawn well, there were some things that had very, very uh, interesting designs, very good designs. And I would like to uh, find those and uh, redo, redo those ones because I think, um, if I recall, some of them actually, look, if I did redid them now, they would be pretty good. Pretty good, I think. So whilst my artistic uh, skill was pretty bad, my um, eye for design was uh, was okay for for character design and stuff like that. It was it was okay, maybe even better than it is now, <laughs> because adulthood has siphoned my creativity like a bad tasting filter coffee. Right. Um, I mean, is, is there a bad tasting filter coffee? That was a terrible metaphor. I'm so sorry. Uh, right. Anyway, I will. Uh, I was gonna like go through my part this pile individually, but there was two problem two problems with that. Um, one, my microphone picks up absolutely everything, and the uh, me rifling through the paper was not a good <laughs> sound to filter out from the background. And uh, two, uh, I ended up droning on for a very, very long time. Um, so let's not uh, let's not do that. Instead, I'm going to do a montage of the um, absolute cringe of my uh, younger self's artwork. And I'll just talk about a couple of things. There was one thing that I'm not going to show um, because it was not appropriate at all um, for YouTube. It appeared to be some kind of collection of short stories and artwork about a fictional fascist Eastern European country that I invented. Um, it was clearly heavily inspired by Borat because Borat appears throughout it and I probably made it off just after having seen Borat. Um, and clearly Borat was not a uh, good influence on me because many much of the content in there was um, probably even more offensive than uh, <laughs> what is in Borat. Um, Yes, l l luckily I uh, I don't make stuff like that anymore, or uh, I don't think ever again since this one dark blemish on my uh, on my past. Let's uh, let's move swiftly on, and then I've got a bunch of my um, comic books that I used to make. I've got my Bird and Rabbit comic books. They were the first ever comic characters I made when I was really young. I was like maybe 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 as young as like five or six. I remember drawing them, like really really young. And then I, re I made a whole bunch of stories up about them. I made all these other characters and all these little comic books. And um, yeah, I still I still draw them sometimes, not not very often. And I haven't for like maybe over five years now. I haven't drawn them. And then uh, I got some really cringy weeby manga I made that even reads from right to left. Absolutely terrible. A whole bunch of other stuff. Some cool looking alien guy with a laser sword. Um, a weirder looking alien guy with a bunch of tentacles in a very uh, intimate position. And then we've got, um, right at the end, we've got this terrible, terrible, terrible self-portrait. 
which I'll say most of the drawings in this pile I probably did, I would guess, somewhere between the ages of 11 to 13-ish, that kind of sort of ballpark. And uh, this uh, self-portrait was definitely earlier than that. This one, I don't know why this was mixed in with this pile, because these all seem to be from the same kind of time. But uh, this self-portrait was definitely from primary school, which you can tell because I'm wearing my school uniform in it <laughs> um, without the horrible jumper at least uh, and yeah it's possibly the worst um, not only the worst self-portrait I've ever done but maybe the worst self-portrait ever done in the history of ever I mean there's just so many things wrong with it the eyes are, are, the, are most obvious the nose the ears the wonky misshapen eyebrows it's it's just terrible it's just a mess but I suppose in that regard it's actually not the worst self-portrait since it uh, does accurately reflect the fact that my life is one giant mess. Anyway, so I'm gonna redo some of these and uh, we'll see how they turn out. And I think the uh, ones I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this uh, cool alien guy trying to, it's a Sonic the Hedgehog looking alien dude, trying to smack this butterfly. I'm gonna redraw Bird and Rabbit because yeah, like I have a lot of versions of them throughout my life. I don't have all of them on me, so I can't. I don't know where all of them are. Even I've lost a lot of stuff over the years. But yeah, I've had I've drawn them a lot of times over over my life. So it'll be nice to have a more up to date one to see a sort of more linear progression of my art. That, that could be nice. And then uh, finally, I will do. Uh, I'll just I'll just redo a self. I'll, I'll do another self portrait because this one is just the worst. It's just the worst ever. So that's, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so first up is this alien dude. I'm uh, sketching him out in a much more dynamic pose than uh, before. A bit more of a, an action pose. Um, yes, rearranging the bits there. And I could already see something I've done wrong. In hindsight, that right leg uh, needed to also be adjusted up a little, a little bit, not a lot. So it's, it's only a small adjustment. It doesn't look too bad. Like unless I had, unless I just point, if I hadn't just pointed out, you might not have noticed it, but I have. So now you've noticed that it's like slightly too long, and it looks really awkward and terrible. And I, sh I shouldn't. I just should have shut up. Um, <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's not too bad. And then um, coming in, I'm rendering here. I've uh, he looked quite uh, beefy in the original picture, so I've given him a big old giant pecs like in the, uh, in the original one, but this time looking a bit more, uh, a little bit more natural, a, a little bit sinuous though. Um, and then, uh, whoop. yeah, I readjusted the buildings a bit lower. I thought that might be a bit nicer doing the uh, ground textures. And I'm using this nice, uh, I've got some nice window brushes, so I'm using those to quickly make the uh, buildings up and then sort of fade them into the background a little bit to give a better perception of distance and scale. Um, just adding a little some bounce lights from the environment. And uh, yeah, the sword I thought I would make, it wasn't intended to be like a flame sword, so it's like more like an energy sword, but I guess kind of looks more like a flame sword now, but I thought I would do like kind of fire colors just because it complemented the uh, colors I chose for the skin. And uh, yeah, there we go. Don't think it looks too bad at all. Not bad. Nice. Nice. Okay, next we have my old buddies, Bird and Ryder. And you can see whilst my like line clarity is much better now, in terms of style, I, you can still kind of see the same kind of style that I was drawing as a kid is still kind of present a little bit in my art now. And it was uh, very easy to just draw these guys out or basically as I had done back then, just with a little bit more detail and just rendering them out and making them look a bit uh, a bit nicer. But then uh, here's the real trick here that's going to make them look uh, miles better. I'm going to texture the hell out of them. 
make them uh, look a little bit, a tad little more realistic. Obviously not, not very, I still want them to be really stylized, but just a tad little bit more realistic. And uh, there we go, couldn't be bothered for like a proper background or anything with this one, so just showcase both of them, there they are. Very nice, very nice. Nice. And finally we have a, uh, a self-portrait of my horrific face. And, um, yeah, the only thing that I, I mean, I feel like I may have, uh, I mean, I rushed through the rendering a little bit on this one, so that could be a little bit better. Um, and the only other thing I think is, uh, well, I don't know, because I've got to say, I think the, I've, the perspective with the eyes might be a little too forced. But actually, when I had when when it was just the flat lines, I think it looked about right. But now, you start to add the rendering. It looks kind of a look a little making me look a little bit more bug eyed. But I don't th yeah, I don't think it's too bad. Um, so I think it's just because I rushed the rendering a little bit too much on this one. But uh, there we go, doing some blending. Very nice. Nice. And in some detail. Because that's where you add details in the highlights. And in some colour. Also, if you're wondering why my. when I do a time lapse, why the colour just suddenly appears, it's because I'm using gradient maps. So I just make it all in um, monochrome and then. I assign different color values to each level of the monochrome and then it goes boom instant color and it just lets you fine-tune it a little bit better and yes here's the uh, here's the finished one and uh, yeah this one actually unlike the uh, original one this one does actually look like me like it's a little stylized still but it's also very, it's very clearly me, but yes, there we go. That's all of the uh, ones done for now that I was going to do. I think I've definitely improved at least somewhat, which is good. If you want some art advice, I would say, actually, I've not improved that much until relatively recently. And that is because um, when I started out, which you might be able to tell from some of this art, I sort of, I didn't do, um, I mean, I did art at school for a little bit, but then I didn't even do it. I didn't even do it for GCSE. So I only did like three, three years of art <laughs> rather than like five or seven years. I only did three years and then that was it. And then I learned basically by copying Naruto <laughs> um, for, the longest time so yeah because I was sort of self-taught in that way I, I had loads of mistakes and bad habits that sort of kept me from progressing very well for a long time and it's only like the last within the last like five years or so that I've been able to really sort of start to break out of those habits and not that my art hasn't improved in that in, in that time even with those bad habits it's just the rate of improvement um, has increased massively and in like the last maybe three years I've improved like maybe 10 times as much as I have the rest of my entire life um, <laughs> just because I've been doing better more efficient more effective art practice so yeah if you want art advice that is my advice is don't, don't just teach yourself. Don't teach yourself and feel like you know what you're doing. You don't. You have no idea what you're doing. Um, find someone who does know what they're doing. Some There's some very smart art people out there. Go, go, go find them. Take their advice. Listen to what they're telling you. And practice smart and then uh, <laughs> you'll, you'll start to improve. Much better. I mean, I might do some of my own tutorials at some point, but 
for now if you want to improve i would recommend checking out people like mark brunette and ethan becker they are very good at uh, at giving advice ethan becker has given me lots of good advice that has helped me improve my art practice and uh, mark brunette has intro introduced me to the wonderful world of gradient maps that has massively uh, sped up my process and uh, with my terrible shaky hands i need all the help i can get <laughs> so yeah check them out if you want to be less terrible at art and uh yeah i hope you enjoyed seeing how absolutely awful i used to be and how marginally better i am right now um hopefully i find that other pile of, of artwork because there was i i remember there being some really good stuff in there if I find it, I'm going to do a part two and I'm going to make some really cool stuff. Really cool stuff. Stuff that's better than, you know, the roadkill twins and my face. So, yeah, that's that's what's going to happen. And in the meantime, I shall probably, I'll probably get a few more art videos out from time to time. But in the meantime, my next video will probably be um, my next Paleo Corner. So stay tuned for that if you like my regular content it be a coming and i hope you enjoyed this this video and my, my terrible cringe thank you very much for watching uh please like and subscribe uh if you if you enjoyed this video um consider doing it anyway even if you didn't because i don't know just, just do it just, just do it please <laughs> It, it, it really helps me out and uh, I could use some help because I am a mess and uh, yeah, that's about it. That's about it.